guys, it's Lev from Levram Gaming back with another Balloons Tower Defense 6 video. What I thought I'd do today is run through how to play the game if you've never played before. A full breakdown on all the buttons, everything to go to if you want to play multiplayer, single player, how the towers work, what to do. Because my wife said that she might want to play with me. So I thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to make a video for everyone. Letting you all know the little tips and tricks how to play. Let's get into it. So we're on our home screen. We're loading in. Let's start. I will hide my camera. So you guys can see everything that's going on. There we go. Alrighty. So we are on the main home screen in what we'll do is we'll just go like left left to right top to bottom explain everything that we're seeing here so in the top left once you've created your profile you can connect it with your ninja kiwi account connect it to facebook um and then it, you, you're safe if you play on your phone or if you um if you want to play on another uh, computer or something happens to your computer you can then sign in with your profile that keeps all of your progress so i'd highly recommend that so in the top left hand corner we have our icon so the icon all it does is shows off your badges medals your public status um to all other players if they were to search your profile and luckily for you guys, you're looking at Lever M Gaming 2022. Um, next to that, slightly on the right hand side, we have our XP bar. So if you're f if you're playing the game for the very first time, you'll be level one, and you start to unlock the rest of the game as you play about round. Uh, sorry, at a, at level thirty. So just below there, we have our settings cog. So the settings cog, we can view our update notes. You can adjust your in-game volumes. So uh, the jukebox, especially I just disable it because I use stream beats. Shout out to Harris Heller, allowing everyone on YouTube to use royalty free music. Uh, we've got our screen size in the top right hand corner. Um, and I actually play the game a lot just in a smaller, smaller window with full screen turned off um, while I play other games. We've got all our accounts and hotkeys here. Uh, that's relatively easy. Just below that, we have our achievements. So the achievements are all earned while playing Bloons Tower Defense 6, and they allow you to earn monkey money, insta towers. Uh, some of them have... I have most of them, but if we search through here, there might be one. There we go. Ultimate Balloon Master. You actually unlock your knowledge points. Monkey knowledge. We'll get to that in two shakes. Now, below our achievements, we have the Ninja Kiwi store, where if you have money available, but you don't have to make any of these purchases, but you can, this is where you can buy power-ups, uh, extra in-game currencies, tickets to races, things like that. So not required, but it is there if you need. Now below that, again, the last one on the left-hand side is where we spend our trophies. So our trophy store, trophy store, Once again, all of these are all just cosmetic. It's where a lot of people ask me how I get the, the pops. I know that I had a comment from Blake. I'll give you a shout out here, Blake. He commented on one of my videos asking how I got my pops. So it's from the trophy store. Plenty of things in here you can upgrade. And that's where we've got my pop band power. Pop, pop. I think I said that right. <laughs> now, um, on the right hand side of the screen, top right, we have our monkey money. So the monkey money is used in game. So it's our in game currency we use for unlocking knowledge points. So we'll just jump in one here. So on the left-hand side, we have our monkey knowledge here. So 1,500, 250. 
Uh, so we, when we upgrade any of these here, they cost our monkey money. We also have what's called a, a powers. So powers, you can use these. So banana farmers, probably the most used power that I've seen. And you can buy them for 50 in-game currency. And heroes, heroes is probably the main, at the start of the game anyway, the main thing you want to spend your monkey money on. And some of them cost up to 5,000 monkey money to unlock. But once again, all done in game. You can get that by achievements. I will link in the description and on the screen now, my video on monkey money, give you guys a little bit of insight. Moving on, we have on just below our monkey money on the right hand side, these are all of the events that are currently running. Now these change uh, weekly, monthly, they change all the time. So we've got our Odyssey, uh, that is where you, you uh, select a boat of monkeys essentially. You then take that on a journey, whole bunch of different rules that can happen in your Odyssey. Um, but the main thing is you're completing, most of the time you're completing your trip with the monkeys that you choose at the start. Below that, we have our race events. So it's how fast you can complete a certain track or event. And then below that one there is uh, Vortex, which is the current boss battle. So there, we can make videos on those separately, but all in all, on the right hand side are the events run by Ninja Kiwi. They are also accessible by clicking on our monkey here. So we can scroll through all the events and special deals that Ninja Kiwi have running at the moment. Now I have already opened it, which is a bummer, but on the left hand side, we have our daily chest. So it's got our daily rewards. You don't have to do anything other than clicking on the chest every single day. Whenever you log in, it's not multiplicable. So it doesn't, uh, the more days you log in, the rewards don't get better. It's just when you do log in, you click your chest and you open up a reward. Now at the bottom of the screen here, we'll go left to right, we have our monkeys. So our monkeys here are all the monkeys that you can unlock throughout playing the game of Balloon Star Defense 6. So this first screen here, so all of the blue monkeys, they're known as primary monkeys. Now I, I remember when I first started playing Balloon Star Defense 6, I didn't understand the types of the monkey, so I'll run through those types uh, when, in this video for you guys. So the blue ones, we've got primary. In the second tree, we have our military tree. And yes, it does say the, down the bottom here, but I didn't pick that up for a long time. I didn't understand. So I'm just, I thought I'd make this video, make a few guys. Uh, so our green monkeys here are our military monkeys. Our purple monkeys are our magic monkeys. And our orange towers, I should say, and our engineer monkey, their support towers. Now I'll touch on that a little bit later on why that's important. On our next tile here, we have our heroes. So heroes are a whole nother separate kettle of fish that we'll dive into in another video. But he, the, your hero essentially is your best tower or your number one go-to. So like, Oban, for instance, he buffs up druids predominantly. Uh, so we can find druids in our monkeys here, magic. So he primarily buffs up druids, but he also has some other abilities that buff up the rest of the magic monkeys. So select your hero depending on what map you're doing, what difficulty you're doing. And I've got some pretty other pretty cool videos on heroes. So jump in and watch them if you have the time. And uh, we'll jump back over to the right hand side of the screen where we have monkey knowledge. Now monkey knowledge is only unlocked after level 30. And then you start to every level, uh, every time you level up, you start to unlock uh, one point of mon monkey knowledge. Like I said, there's other achievements where you can unlock monkey knowledge. You have to read through each of these because they all have some really cool additions and they make completing some harder levels a lot easier. 
So for instance, the bottom tier in our primary knowledge is increased starting cash by $200. And yes, we have to have, a. there's a lot of unlocks in here, but uh, I would highly recommend uh, trying, enlisting this primary tree, getting the free dart monkey, free glue gunner, and you're starting cash by 200. So run through all the different types of monkey knowledge. There's, there's stuff in there, depending on your play style, depending on what towers you'd like to use, which is perfect only having to access the monkey knowledge after level 30, because you can run through, figure out what towers you like using, and then apply your monkey knowledge that way. To the left-hand side of knowledge, we have powers. Powers are little boosts or things you can add into your game to make it a bit easier. So for instance, the banana farm is probably the most used power out of all the powers. He allows you to pick up all of the bananas dropped by a banana farm. So you can place a banana farm in between, I guess up to about nine, if you position him well, up to about nine farms and then he will automatically pick up the bananas for you so they don't expire uh, they don't expire and then you also don't have to hover over uh, the bananas to pick them up now just above in the same window here we have our insta monkeys so insta monkeys pretty pretty much the same as a power but you get to use the monkey as it is now you get these from completing difficulty uh, challenges i should say you get them you get them completing round 100 loads of different ways you can get insta monkeys you get insta monkeys from daily chess but if we click on our super monkey here so we can see here our super monkey is a zero three zero now so when we place that super monkey he's instantly a zero three zero so if you're having or if you're struggling on an extremely high level map, you can use an Insta Monkey, place that instantly, have those upgrades for free. And the best thing about this, uh, so if we did the maths on this, this tower is probably worth about 10k, maybe even slightly more gold, and you're getting that straight away. I am saving up my Insta Monkeys for the expert maps, but feel free to use them whenever you like. Alrighty, now we're on the last two things, playing Bloonstar Defense 6. So we can do one of two things. We can hit the green button on the left-hand side, which is playing all of our maps, single player, offline, go your hardest, watch all my YouTube videos if you need any help. It's good old Balloons Tower Defense 6, or just Balloons in general, we've all been playing it for years. On the right hand side, we actually have a social feature now. It's got loads of different options in here. We can create a quick match uh, with matchmaking, create a match for people to join. We can join a match if someone else is hosting it. We've got our contest here starting in another two days, which is the brand new uh, contest territories i'll make a video on that separately we've got boss events so if you're looking to play with your friends you want to jump into the social play and if you just want to play by yourself and for this video i'll show you guys some little tips and trips trips tricks um for playing so let's just play the first map in blue star defense 6 monkey meadows on easy standard Everything else would be locked if you've never played before. All right, let's get into it. So I'll explain a few things from the top. Now, when you start playing the game, you won't have these plus 25 here. These are called shield lives and they are unlocked using monkey knowledge, pretty advanced monkey knowledge. So you will just start the game with 200 lives. Now, Lives are pretty simple, the balloons leak through, and every time a balloon leaks through, depending on the severity or the, the level of that balloon, depending on it depends on how many lives you lose. Um, so essentially, you just wanna keep your lives above zero, complete the level, and you'll, you'll win. Now, on the right-hand side of that is the monkey gold, which is earned by popping balloons. Over on the right hand side, we have our rounds to complete. So we're rounds one to 40. So at round 40, you'll see the first Moab. 
and then you take down that Moab and you'll complete Monkey Meadows standard, easy, done. Uh, our settings cog, it's a good way to pause the game if you have to run out and do something. Or in my case, if the wife is telling me that dinner's ready or I have to clean something, you can just jump in, hit the settings cog or press escape and that will open this menu and pause the game. Some other cool features while we're in here though is you can change between what mode you use to drop your towers. I use drag and drop. I'll show you what that is in just a second. Uh, you can disable nudge mode or enable nudge. So just if you've been AFK, it'll it'll ask you to uh, or suggest what you should do. Um, now the thing that I use probably the most, and I think it is turned off when you first start playing the game, is auto start. I love this the rounds automatically starting, so I don't have to do that myself. Um, game hints, pet sounds. I don't have any of these sounds turned on, obviously because I'm making videos for you guys, but feel free to have them on if you like. Game hints are pretty handy when you first start playing. We've got our hotkeys in here, which is, you can pick your cursor size, but all of these keys, if you press them, they will then build that tower. So for instance, if we exit here, we press Q, brings up our dart monkey. Pretty simple. What else was I gonna show you guys? The drag and drop. So I'll show you what that means. So what drag and drop does is we click on open here and we can click and then we can let go. Providing he's in the red, we can then drag him with our mouse and position him. Once he goes white, you can let go and he'll pl be placed on the map. That is a pretty basic overview. We've probably should just one last thing is run through the upgrades for each tower. So we'll place our dart monkey here. So like I said, he's in red. We drag, drop, and we, now we've got our dart monkey. Each tower has upgrades and you can only upgrade two paths at a time. So if we were to upgrade our top path and our middle path, it means it locks our bottom path. Now, so you can use all different things. So you can have a catapult with enhanced eyesight so he can hit uh, ceramic balloons, lead balloons, but also camo balloons, or you could go a middle path, with a super, super monkey fan club with the razor sharp shots, if that's what you wanna do. Loads of tips and tricks in all of these towers on my channel. You'll find them very soon. That's pretty much it. Place your towers, unlock your upgrades, win maps, earn all the things. Happy days. I've jumped back to the home screen, put the camera back on, we're back. If this has helped anyone, brand new players, or if you haven't played the game before, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. I hope to see you guys on the channel, all playing Bloons Tower Defense 6. And if you don't have Bloons Tower Defense 6, in my description, I actually have a link to a website. It has all global keys. You'll find Bloons Tower Defense 6 for about six bucks which is super cheap. I'd love to play with you guys. Like I said, any information, anything that I've missed, leave it in the comments, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. I will see you all in the next one. It's Lev out. Have a good one. Bye.